Come on, bro, let's go ride that thing. Today we're going to go rescue a very rare and desirable 1980 CJ7. These rarely come up for sale. The reason why is it's a Laredo, which is the first year of the highest option CJ7 of that year until the limiteds came out later on. But the other thing is from the pictures, it's a factory automatic, which is crazy rare. They only made them twice a year. We're going to head here to Lindale, Texas, which is about 150 miles, so grab your cup of joe and let's go. So we're going to make this run by myself because the Jeep's supposed to run and drive. Alex is crazy busy in the back. He's working on a Porsche and the 67 Camaro pace car convertible. So we're going to go make a 300 mile run and we are going to stop and have a good lunch in Lindale. It's supposedly a really good home cooking cafe that's very famous for Texas chicken fried steak. Let's go. My new ETA is 11.50. Now the race. Is it raining there? We've been stuck in it for a solid hour. All right, I'm on my way. Yes, sir, bye. Dude's name's Bronco. How cool is that? <laughs> I can't make this stuff up. Very small county road. Look at the 1980 CJ7 Laredo in East Texas. Again, that was the first year Laredo was built, and my hope is this is going to be an H code automatic. I'm not sure if it is or not. Should be original paint. It's been parked for a long time, so let's go see the Jeep and meet the owner. So, which one of you guys is Bronco? Right here. <laughs> So are you a Bronco rider? Is that what your name is Bronco? Or is it really Bronco? No, it's a, I started out, I was a kid, my dad always called me Bronco when I was a little young. And then I started bull riding and brought barebacks when I was in high school. And after that, I went to welding, pipeline. And been so your name is Bronco and you got a Jeep and a Blazer. Mm, don't have a Bronco. <laughs> don't have one. Got three wheelers. What's your name, sir? Cody Eames. Hey, Cody, Dennis Collins. Nice to meet you. All right, cool. Well, here it is. So you said it's been in the area and it's a three owner Jeep? Yes, sir. Okay. Or, uh, I do believe it is. I what mean, else you know about it? That's about it. About it? Okay. But yeah. well, it looks to be original paint. I think it's original paint, original wheels. And I don't know what that goofy stuff is on the back, but... Yeah, it's just it ain't bad Jeep. All right, well, I swore it was an 81, you know. But it's a V8. Well, let's see if it's a factory V8. Let's see. All right, so we are J0, so it is 1980. It is an H code, so it is a factory 304 V8, which is great. We're in the six P series, so it is gonna be a Laredo, or it would have been a Golden Eagle or a Golden Hawk. Now the K is a Tanitier. This is an, appears to be an N, so it's probably gonna be a light Tanitier, which is unusual. And it is, and it is an automatic. So we got a crazy high option Jeep, the first year Laredo, not rusty, power steering, power brakes, factory AC. And the way you can tell this factory AC or dealer installed, this is kind of cool. This is clamp right here. All the emissions are on it, which is great. And a backfire valve, air injection rails are there. And the smog pump's even hooked up. And not rusty. There's a common area there. And the floor looks good. What you love about a Texas Jeep. That's right. Yeah. And then there was a company called Olympic. They did a bunch of chrome and stainless steel stuff and it kind of threw up all over this Jeep. So we've got <laughs> the entry guards here. <laughs> Tail lights. 
in chrome, which Olympic did. And this is an Olympic aftermarket rear swing out tire carrier setup. And this is really odd. I only see maybe one or two. But this is an Olympic chrome windshield kit and hinges. Oh, ah, very cool. It looks complete and correct. I like that. All right, well, I'm not going to argue over the price of that. You got a deal where I'll pay you what we discussed over the phone. Yes, sir. Next question. Yes. You know it's coming. Will you sell me one of those three wheelers? Oh, yeah. I sure will. Really? Yeah. Okay. Everything's for sale. <laughs> I'm interested in that one and that one. It was a good bike. Real good bike. I think they're 87. They didn't make very many 87. You don't see them, see them out there very much. Uh, 86 was the last year of the big dogs, like 350Xs and stuff like that, and then they banned them in the U.S. And you yeah. got some rare ones over there. Yes. Really rare. So you'll sell the run of the mill ones with the rare ones you want to keep? Yes. They're well, hard you, to come by. If you ever sell those, will you call me? Oh, I'll call you. All right, we're going to cut the camera off for a second. We're going to arm wrestle over the price of these two, see if we can make a deal. <laughs> and you got a deal. Yes, sir. So I bought two of them. That's right. But Cody back here. Said he's gonna help me load them. Yes, oh yeah. You gonna help too? That's the help. Yeah, I'm All right. for well, I got a bad back, so mm. I'm gonna try, but I'm not gonna be a ton of help. I had no idea these three wheelers are here, guys, so we got the single trailer, that'll go on the back of. We're gonna try to put these, no, we're not gonna try, we're gonna put these on the, the stake bit of the ram. What do you think the plan is for that? Load them up one way, this way, and one way backwards, like this right here. Thanks for the direction. Do you have any pick up? No, no. Two of you guys can do that? Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> this guy's in East Texas is a lot stronger than this guy in North Dallas. Might not look. <laughs> <laughs> no, I believe it. All right. Uh, and the Jeep does run. Yes. Sir. Outstanding. They rarely run when we pick them up. They crank right up. <laughs> they don't put no fuel in it. All right. Well, I will pull that up and then just make it a straight shot. We'll just drive the Jeep on it. Yes, sir. I can move this pickup if I need to. Oh, I won't hit it. So that's cool. Super desirable CJ7 that we always need, always chasing. First year Laredo and two three wheelers. They are crazy popular right now. The last three times I rolled up on a place the guys had three wheelers, they would not sell them to me. So that's kind of neat. And listen to that, they run. Outstanding, they both run. <laughs> I wasn't anticipating this thing running for the pictures. It just started riding. transmission fluid but I've been sitting for 10 years that's one of the easier rescues ever you say it's been sitting for 10 12 years? years 12 years still runs that's a good thing about keeping them out of the weather true that
baby. Safety Got first. Got that time. So you are a Bronco rider. That's awesome. I think I would have tried that about 15 years ago. <laughs> I'm getting a little old for myself. <laughs> Oh, I think you're. You got a long ways to go. That's a cool load. CJ7 and two uh, Honda ATC three wheelers. Nothing to go ride. We might go ride. Problem with riding three wheelers is generally somebody gets hurt, right? Most of the time. Most of the time. <laughs> Not if it's wind. That's right. I mean, that's right. Good question. Yes. What is the best local restaurant? Uh -huh. County seat. County seat. I believe so. All right, cool. What do they have there? Home cooked meals? Home cooked meals. Chicken fried steak, fried okra, steak. Ooh, love chicken fried steak. Stuff like that. Well, that's what we're going to go do. You guys are welcome to join if you want. Yes, sir. I appreciate it. You want to go? No, sir. OK. Got to ask. We got to run to the bank. Well, we're going to go to the county seat. We're going to eat, and we're going to be out of here. Yes, sir. Yeah, thanks much. Be cool stuff. Hand Call hand me the other ones when they come up for sale. Sure will. Cody, I'm going to pay you for your help because we never got them on there without it. Oh, no, sir. I insist. Oh, you do if you don't work. take, if you don't take it, I'll light it on fire. So which one you want? Which one is it? Oh, I'll get All right, that's for you. you don't take it, I will. Thank you, sir. Thanks for your time. Thank thanks you. for the help. Yes, Thank sir. you. All right, here we go. Meatloaf, one of my favorites, but I think I gotta do the chicken fried steak because that's what it's famous for. So look at this salad at the county seat. Plenty of blue cheese, and it is a dollar. This salad in Dallas would be at least $5.95. Another interesting side note is the county seat cafe, this, is, this building here is owned by Don Henley himself from the Eagles. He grew up here in Lindy. Chicken fried steak's next. So, the salad was amazing. Look at that chicken fried steak. That is what I'm talking about and referring to. Let's try it. So, I did a pseudo keto diet this week and I'm about to grenade it. That is outstanding. We'll try to look real quick. Definitely money. B County seat in Linden, Texas. This is outstanding. Now we're off to see the courthouse, which is the oldest operating courthouse in Texas. It's been there since 1859 in Linden. See you there. Wow, another killer restaurant. Front and accent again. You gotta get the chicken fried steak if you come to the county seat restaurant in Linden, Texas. special 1981 year old one. Right. How many thousands of Jeeps have you detailed for me? Uh, quite a bit, quite a bit. In the thousands. So guys, again, in 1980 was the first year of the Laredo. Very important. That was the top of the line Jeep that year. And if you got one fully loaded, which this one is fully loaded, it was as expensive as a Cadillac or a Corvette. Did you know that? Didn't know that. All right. So the Laredo's had the chrome wheels, chrome front bumper, chrome grill, tack, clock, upgraded interior, Stainless mirrors, rear bumperettes, you know, on and on and on. Rocker molding, side steps, special stripe package, leather stick wheel, leather grab handle. Well, I want you guys to see what's crazy rare on this. This interior is one year only, and I can't remember ever seeing it. Almost every one of these I've ever seen had the tan Laredo seats. Look inside this. You ever played one of this color, Jimmy? Isn't that different? It's the first one I've seen this time. Okay, so what this color code is, is 6PN, it's desert beige, Sarah vinyl, with 
vertical Italian purse strips in the seats. Wow. Get you some of that. That's a lot, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Crazy rare. Automatic, tilt wheel, power steering, power brakes, factory AC, and Dana 300. But this was also the first year, as you know, Jimmy, when you're washing all these automatics and early ones, none of them have lockout hubs in the front. 1980 was the first year of the lockout hubs. And the color code on this Jeep is OM, dark brown metallic. This is original paint. Original paint, wow. Get you some of that. <laughs> How cool is that? Isn't that so this is a really, that's why I'm excited about this Jeep and went and got it myself. Not that I wouldn't go get it myself, but a really significant find for the Jeep community, I think. There can't be more than a handful 1980s with equipped like this. Just can't be. Might be the only one. Wow. So, Jimmy, I'm going to jump here and open the I want you to wipe down this trim tag you know, below the booster where those always are so that I can get a good shot at it so everybody can see what we got. All right, if you jump over there and hold the hook so I don't want to lay it back on the roof. I never like to lay these back on the roof because I don't like the creases in the hood. It drives me crazy. You can see where it had the underhood pad on it too. It's also a telltale sign of the radio. Traffic's noisy out here, but this is worth hearing. So on the serial number, you've got J for Jeep, zero for 1980, D for automatic, and then your H code is your 304 V8. And then your sequential number, you've got OM for dark brown metallic. And here's what's crazy unusual, is this 6PN6 Paul Nancy. Again, that's a desert beige interior. Sarah Vinyl with Italian vertical purse stripes. So there you have it. Fully, fully maximum loaded 1980s and ran it with an automatic. That's a holy grail Jeep, Jimmy <laughs> Detail. All right, now all I gotta do is give Jimmy about 40 or 50 hours to clean this cream puff. We'll show it to you later. All right. Y'all have a great day. Please like, tag, share, and follow him. Please subscribe to our YouTube page. Have a great day.